Okay, let's talk some Detroit football, Lion football, whatever I was trying to say. It didn't come out, but I ain't redoing it. But uh, appreciate everybody for checking in. I do intend to go live tonight. So uh, hopefully you guys tune in and I go live. If not, probably be more likely Sunday, maybe a far fest Saturday afternoon, but hopefully I go live tonight. But I kind of want to talk a little bit about quarterbacks, okay? Um, everybody seen in Detroit, a lot of people see him. I want to generalize them. Most Lion fans around the nation, around Detroit, seem to think uh, Matthew Stafford will be uh, the immortal quarterback, okay? They think he will play on and on and on and on in my Eric about do voice forever. But kind of want to do some small talk about two quarterbacks, well, a few quarterbacks that I do like. Primarily two. I do like Herbert. It seemed that what the knock on Herbert is, just say this real quick, is what the knock on people have about uh, Matthew Stafford. Yes, he, does, he doesn't show enough fire or enough passion for the game. So right then and there, that's going to turn a lot of people sour on Herbert. And I get it. You know, I just like his game. His arm, his 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 mobility, his strength, his size. Uh, I just think he could be a good quarterback in the right system, and that's everybody in the right system. You know, if you're a big possession receiver and they try to make you run a lot of deep deep routes and nine ten, you know, nine routes and you know, and try to beat with speed, they don't put you in a position to do the ends and a and and in a position in a possession type receiver routes. Then you will get marginalized in this league. In my Chris Carter voice, but two guys I kind of really want to hone in on. Are, is P.J. Hall from the XFL with the Roughnecks. And I also want to hone in on Jordan Love, okay? Not saying that I, I want Jordan Love, but Jordan Love is rise, rising up draft boards because of his his sophomore season, okay? If you don't understand, he had a really good sophomore season in the system he was in. He switched systems in college in his junior year, and he didn't have so much success. But his arm, he ran a 4.7, so he got about the same mobility, a little bit slower, and Herbert, his height, his strength, and just his arm and some of the things he can do, he done in his sophomore year in the right system. Now, he one of those dudes that's probably going to rise in the top 10. And you really don't see that a lot amongst black quarterbacks. Most times with black quarterbacks, they try to sit here and they try to tell you why shouldn't they be number one or or why shouldn't they, you know, like Cam Newton, they was trying to say, oh, Blaine Gabbert should have been over Cam Newton or or whatever situation may be, they usually try to downplay him. And with Jordan Love, you know, he owns, I think it's the rise of the black quarterback, and it's really helping him, the rise of Lamar, the rise of Patrick, the rise of Deshaun, the rise of Wilson. It's helping him, and I think people, I think teams just want to win. And Jordan Love is, is ascending, ascending on, on up to draft boards, and that can affect the Lions in multiple ways. In mean, the ways that can affect the Lions, somebody might want to trade up to get Love, and, you know, the Lions can move back or – you know, and he gonna rise up. And if he can pass the wonder lick and he can remember some routes and he can you can break down defenses, you know, he's the type of guy that's gonna sit for a year, maybe get a Patrick Mahomes, you know, week 17, might be week, eight, week 18 this year, week 18 to 17 start. And I think he's gonna affect the Lions. Now, should the Lions think about moving back and getting him a Herbert? Yeah, absolutely. I should think about, especially if they can gain a draft pick, a first round draft pick this year, or they can gain one next year. I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? You got to start prepping somebody behind Stafford. And Herbert, yeah, he probably can come in and play right now with the primarily primarily with these teams putting these quarterbacks, you know, exclusively in, in shotgun. You know what I'm saying? He probably can come in and do the damn thing right now. Probably so. But he can sit behind Stafford for a season or two. Him or Love, you might have some uh you might have some magic behind him, and that's what the Lions need to do. They need to have a contingency plan behind Stafford, not just for next year. It's cool if Driscoll come in and fuck up next year. And if you can get Trevor Lawrence, then you can deal Love or Herbert next year or whoever you deem good enough, Easton or whoever, you know, later in the round. But they do need a quarterback to build on. And then you look at um, P.J. Hall. You know, he looked really good in the XFL. Um, some other guys are saying he's definitely an NFL quarterback, 5'11". That's part of the issue, but he's mobile. But he making things happen, not just saying XFL. I think he was banished from the NFL due to his skin color for the most part and due to his height. And I think Russell Wilson and, and Drew Brees are kind of – and Baker Mayfield, I believe, is going to be good. Y'all know how I feel about Baker. I like him. Um, not always didn't like him, but I, I like him now. I think that's a lead. But I think he could be good. And I think they kind of, you know, with the black quarterbacks and the short quarterbacks, Baker, Brees, and Wilson, they kind of – 
getting that, that notion that a short quarterback can't play, and P.J. Law would be a wonderful option. As soon as his contract is up in the XFL, fuck Josh Johnson, who they tried to get back. Let's get P.J. Walker. And, you know, bare minimum, you might have a career backup that can be Sean Hill. You know, you got a guy that can come in and be mobile. You got a way behind Matthew Stafford. And if he can, you can, you know, do some things with him. And don't forget, uh, Daryl Bevel did some things with Russell Wilson early on. So, you know, I, I, you know, even if you're looking at P.J. Hall, bare minimum bringing him in and, and riding with, if you believe in Blog and Driscoll or, or drafting another quarterback, that's the guys I ride with. You know, but they got to start thinking about life after Matthew Stafford, not just life behind Stafford next year. I wouldn't mind next year if they suck next year and they don't have a plan behind Stafford and we get a top pick for Trevor Lawrence. Man, I'd be the happiest man on earth. But for the fans' sake and for the TV's sake, they need to have somebody respectable behind Stafford. Even if Love or, or Hall or Herbert ain't ready, at least to sell some type of hope and how the game's intriguing because when the games are intriguing, if we in it or we not in the games, when they are intriguing, you know what? It, you know, all of our YouTube channels, all the writers, all the Lions publications out there, I see Lion Wire and, you know, all of these dudes out here, it's more enjoyable and, it's, and it gives us more content to talk about. It. You know what I'm saying? So for that, for the sake of, of, of the publications in the state and, and for the sake of, you know, all the, the outlets and the channels and stuff of that nature, you want to have somebody respectable that can be the future and get us excited. And I think P.J. Hall and, and I think Love or Herbert can do that or Eason or whoever later in draft. And last year, my guy I really liked um, for them to get a developmental quarterback was Jordan Stidham. That's the guy I really liked. And he went to New England and New England seen what I liked from him in college and a lot of people didn't get what I've seen in him and I like the Marty Rock we did get him so I get Bob Clinton and Matt Patricia some love on that but let me know what you guys think about P.J. Hall what y'all think about Bryce we love or Herbert or another quarterback you like or just having a contingency plan behind Stafford so we can continue to be excited next year it's Motor City Sports Talk don't forget me on Facebook Instagram Twitter reach out to the email if you got business questions prior response to video requests keep sharing the videos want to make a donation cash at PayPal in the description best way to donate is share share the video one time for one time we're done